Welcome to my Freestyler tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about sequences, steps, and cue list. So the first thing you want to do to create a step is you open up the sequence. The sequence window is opened up and then you can set the fade time, you can set the scene time for various different transitions. Then what you want to do is you want to select your lights and you you choose various different values for your different lights, what you want your lights to start out as. And you want this to be not in offline mode. Do you want to stop playback? Yes, I want to stop playback. So I go and I add a new scene. I maybe move these lights, move these ones different, maybe make the outside ones go to the outside. And then Maybe take these, change their color again, add new scene, change some things up. Maybe perhaps turn these turn these on, make a move, make the gobo spin, maybe make them a different color or perhaps just, you know, change colors. Then we're going to go to new then maybe we want these off. Maybe we want these to turn off and we want these to change colors. So we can do that. Then we add a new scene. Maybe do something else. Take these, point them inwards. A little down. Take these center two, bring them straight up. Kind of make a cool effect. All right, we create a new step. We just keep adding steps until we get to 45 steps. So we can actually go here, select these, and we can go to um, any position we want. We can actually turn this on and select circle or figure eight or any of these. And during this particular step, during step six, while that is fading, we might want to set, if we're going to do one of these, set the fade times um, higher so that this particular one plays longer. So it'll do this circular thing with these four lights. Uh, and I don't actually know what this does. And there's quite a few things here I still have to learn. Set fan has something to do with making the lights in coordination. So you for, can, for instance, make the left one when you're doing a vertical fan. You can make the left one all the way up and the right one all the way down. And the middle lights some variant of that so that, you know, it's a nice smooth transition. Makes makes your work a little bit easier. And you can turn this off, you know, you can leave that on, go to new step. Then I'm going to turn this off because I want, like, a fixed position. I want all the lights to be up in the corner, for instance. Select these, all of them. make them all up in that corner. Create a new step. Do them all over here. So they're up on the other corner of the ceiling. Bring those mirrors down. Bring the mirrors down. Bring them to the center. Sequentially change their their colors. You know, this is not actually what I do with a real show, but just trying to, you know, create some things real quick. Perhaps take our wash, turn our wash on, make it really bright. And I'm just going to press the plus button a, a bunch until we get to 45. So we're at 45 steps. It doesn't need to have 45 steps, but you're probably going to want to have 45 steps because your cue list isn't entirely long. I haven't figured out how to expand it yet. Still a noob at the program, but I want to share what I know. So then we're going to go to save as. And an another thing I want to mention, if you want to review these, you can press the play button and you can actually review what your, your things are doing. So when we get up here, it'll actually show our gobos are changing colors. It's actually animating and playing back what we just did to make sure everything's like you want. And if you want, you can pause it at any point and be like, hmm, 
maybe I want the wash to be on at this point. So I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn the wash on at this point. You know, you, you can you can do that. You can insert different changes. You can go through them one at a time. Something called transparent mode versus static mode. I'm not really sure what any of this does. Um, so if anyone has any you know, knowledge of that, that would be nice if people would share it, especially in video form. So anyway, I'm going to save as. It opens up this window, and I'm going to save it as test 7. You want add to queue and add to buttons to be set. The reason for that is because when you save it, now when you open up the queue window, which is this one here, it'll automatically add test seven. So if you want to remove one, you can go remove sequence. If you want to move one, you can move it. If you want to insert sequences, I'm going to show you how to open this window. You open it right there. You can take these sequences and you can insert them in any way you want, move them around, And now I have these various different protocols in here. And you can insert them multiple times. Like if you want to mix it up a little and have three there, then maybe five. That way you can repeat your work. You don't have to have the same work done multiple times. You can you know, have your sequence in various different orders. And you can also reverse your order. So this right here reverses it so it goes two and then one instead of one and then two and then on to the next. You can press this button for loop versus not loop so that it'll repeat in yellow mode in this mode right here. It will repeat this when you play it. So you play a cue and when it gets to the end it'll repeat. So for example it goes two one two one two one but if I swap that, it'll go one, two, and then stop. Why it's resetting right now is because I have something called, um, uh, where is that? Anyway, uh, I'll talk you or tell you a little bit about these. So. Wait until triggered means that these are not going to play until sound to light triggers them to go to the next step. And I have that on just because that's the way I like my shows run. You, you can disable that if you want. I probably should have before this tutorial so it was a little bit easier to show you before, you know, the sound tutorial. And then auto resume when sound to light is paused. Um, so that's another thing that has to do with the, the sound to light pro or plugin. And I can't remember what that is. I, I don't have lights hooked up right now. So in any case, time code is a way to insert time. Um, uh, how to explain time code basically tells it when to have the next step. It's like sound to light, but it's an alternative that most other programs use. Loop all sequences. When I have this on, it'll go from this one to this one to this one, and when it reaches the bottom, it'll actually go back up. So you can have a show on repeat, and if your show is long enough, people won't even notice that it's repeated. And you can have a really nice show that's, you know, not that long, you, you know, maybe 20 minutes long or something like that. Mix it up a little bit from time to time. In any case, react to sound. You want to make it so that it doesn't have the red arrow, so it reacts to sound. Or at least I want. I don't know what you want. So when those are off, then it lets the sound beat to the trigger. And that's about all I really have to share on this. I'm not extremely advanced in making light shows with this yet, but... As I 
gain experience, I'll probably come back and make more videos. I just noticed that there's a lack of video content for Freestyler. So I'm just trying to share what I know. Anyway, I think that will be it for this particular video. Um, oh, a few more things. You can manually trigger the steps. So right now, um, why isn't, hold on, loop all sequences, always start with first scene, so that means uh, it will start with one, it won't resume on 15 if you have it 15 or 45 or something like that, uh, back here, cueless buttons, all speed, Oh, right, I have the sound mode active right now. So right now it'll count, but as soon as I turn the sound mode off, that's that's what's happening. It's just expecting the sound to trigger it. So you can actually manually trigger something. So I'll play this one. And then you can quickly switch through the various different steps of a sequence. And it'll show you. You know, it's going through. Something that's important. Let's say I select one of my lights and I edit my light's position. And now that light's just going to hang out there. How I fix that is I press the release all button, which forces my lights to obey the Q sequence window instead of what I had just edited. So release all, disable buttons, now it should behave only according to the cue list window. That's about all I have to say about this. Um, you can save cues here. So you can save various different cues, Q1, Q2, etc. Name them whatever you want. And there's a way to coordinate your cues as well. I, I think it's like through Studio DMX 4000 and various other tools in here. But next video, which will probably be my last for a while, I'm going to talk about the two sound feature, um, the sound to DMX. Anyway, that about wraps it up.